girl, cousin, let me tell you, I'm going to have to stop watching Married at First Sight because Married at First Sight is trying to take me back to a place I used to be. Remember that song, Take Me Back? Take me, uh uh, I, that song never made no sense, y'all. Girl, girl, cousin, girl, why this clip said the Dusty Gill says he might say no to Merla on decision day because she's an alpha? Girl, my head, y'all, my head is on fire. Okay, this is my. This is why I had to take my hair down. And I'm like, you know what, Janice? <laughs> you, you need to stop watching Married at First Sight because it's stressing you out. It's stressing me. Girl, I felt fire coming up. In, I was like, oh, my head is on fire. Take the thing out. Girl, why? Oh, girl. I gotta walk around the chair. I gotta walk around the chair. Uh, you know what? I got a tantrum around the chair. Tantrum around the chair. Girl! He might say no to Merla because she's an alpha. Can you believe that? Girl, it's a good thing I didn't watch this while I was at the doctor's office. My blood pressure, I just took Lexi to do her physical. And, girl, I probably would have fainted. They probably would have to do my blood pressure because I'm sure my... I'm going to let y'all hear it. I'm going to let y'all hear it. I think I can play it on here so y'all can hear it. I'm going to play tips. It's girl. <clears throat> when he said, because you know how they cut stuff up, right? So you know how the, um, how he, with the, um, with the, um, the one I did yesterday with Pastor Cal says, is there anything you would like to say to her? And he said, sometimes she's a Debbie Downer. Okay. I have the whole clip. Okay, be sure to subscribe and thumbs this up. I mean, you know, with me possibly not doing Merit at First Sight anymore, I'm probably going to have to stick with Ready to Love. But, they, you know, they've run my blood pressure up to it. You know, can't nobody be having no blood pressure run up, okay? It's bad enough I'm overweight. The doctor said I'm overweight. Lexi, too, child. Lexi needs to lose 10 pounds, girl. Oh, I can't believe it, child. Lexi needs to lose 10 pounds. But, you know, doctors say it's okay. It's COVID. We've all been in the house, and we've all gained a few pounds. We just have to work it. But, girl, I'm not going to have no show to review because Merit at First Sight is trying to take me back. And I'm not trying to go back, okay? <laughs> and they're ready to love. It's just has taken me all the way back, girl. Listen to this. Listen. Listen, be sure to subscribe. I mean, I guess I'll read you guys some books or something. Listen, 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 shh, 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 wait, okay, wait, wait. What if there was a better way to do it? Oh, wait, 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 that's a commercial. We're not doing no commercial because I'm not trying to get no copyright strike. Girl, they're trying to take me back. I'm not trying to go back. Why is it this thing like? Play, play DJ. Girl, the try. I'm try. I'm not. I am not. I should have did it on my phone. Why isn't this thing playing? Oh my god! Oh, there you go. Oh, excuse me. Okay, here go. Here go. Here go. Listen. I want you to start thinking about decision day. Okay, let me rewind. I want you to start thinking. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Thinking about decision day. And not just about the fact that it's going good now. You know what I'm saying? So Pastor Cal is saying to the Dusty, I want you to start thinking about decision day and not just to the fact that it's going well now. This is true, right? This is true. 
because in though they are married, what I say, they are actually dating because they have to make a decision at the end of the eight weeks. Okay, hang on. And so are there any unanswered questions that can make you say no on decision day? And so he, the pastor Cal says, are any um, unanswered answers the questions that will make you say no on decision day? Listen to what the Dusty says, okay? He's smiling and grinning because, you know, he's not trying to let go of that money. Sometimes she gets in a little mood and her demeanor changes and then she gets short and she gets very negative. She becomes a Debbie Downer. Okay, so we already saw that clip, but we didn't hear the first part where Pastor Cal said, is there anything that will make you say no on decision day, okay? And you know, I can only pay, play 10, 15 seconds at a time so I don't get a copyright strike because I got a copyright for that one yesterday, but I put it so they could take the music off, y'all. Princesa, aren't you paddle boarding? Okay, so they then they do the flashback to when they were on the honeymoon and he called her Princessa, are you paddle door? And she said, no, it's kind of cold. How is that complaining? No, I don't want to go paddle sailing. It's cold. No, Mike, I don't want to go out to dinner. I want to stay in. I just don't understand why her saying she don't want to go paddle, paddle sailing because it's cold. Why is that be negative? Why is that her be negative? Okay. And so this is the other clip where they were doing the, the plane and she asked, is this going to be a bumpy ride? Don't the people tell you that when you get in the plane? Is the, They tell you, <clears throat> at least when I fly, they say we're going to have a smooth ride or they gonna, they tell you we're going to be having some, um, what's those things to make the bumpy? They'll tell you that we're coming up on some whatever it is. Okay, so what's wrong with her asking, is this going to be a bumpy ride? I want to know if it's going to be a bumpy ride, too. Girl, last time we went to Louisiana, oh, my Lord, I, Jesus, I was almost praying. Like, when we was coming back, I was like, Lord, Jesus, it was such a terrible ride. And we were all the way at the back of the plane. I think it was... um flights were being canceled and so we couldn't get on the plane we were supposed to supposed to get on so you come to the airport with the whole family girl then you had to go back to the to then they have to put you up and then they try to stick you on the plane and we all for what it was a terrible ride so i don't understand why is her asking is it going to be a bumpy ride why is that negative why isn't it just is it going to be a bumpy ride i just can't stand it but wait a minute girl wait And she also has, um, she also has verdict, uh, it's, I call it verdict, cease, motion sickness, motion sickness, okay? So, my bag is over here. I walk with my, um, I don't go anywhere without my thing in my bag. As a matter of fact, I don't go nowhere without it. As a matter of fact, I was at work the other day and I felt it coming on and I had to call Mike. And thank God for the wonderful husband he is. He said, baby, I'm on my way. He brought it to me. I took two and I felt better. So, I mean, I just, I don't understand it. Now, here's the other one. Take a body shot. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Why not? I have never done body shots and it's not something that I would want to do. Golly. So why is that negative? She don't want to do a body shot. Why not ask her what she want to do, especially with her working with kids and stuff like that. So listen to what the dusty singer, listen, listen, listen. I can feel the fire. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. You feel like her negativity or her tantrums, you feel like any of that's too much for you or that it will be too much for you. Um, yes. So he said her negativity and her tantrums, does he feel like it would be too much for her, for him? Yes. You need to just go ahead, go on back home to Columbia, find you one of them girls out of the bushes, out of the woods that ain't never seen nothing and bring her to America. That's the only person that's that's going to be happy for Gil. And, but, and I'm going to give her six months because after six months, she's going to like, I don't want this poppy. Your apartment stink. Okay. <laughs> 
I've told her straight up, I'm like, look, this is not going to be, right. you know, we're not having this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to let your negativity affect me. Okay, so him saying, I told her, this is not going to be, we're not having this. He act like he talking to a two-year-old. That's what I say to little Michael when I when it's time to do homework or take a bath. Because those are the two times he fight me. I'm like, look, little Michael, look, we're not going to have this. It's time for you to take a bath. I mean, one day, y'all, I had to run him down and take the clothes off and put him in the tub, girl. I was holding him like this. His leg was like this. And I had to put him in the tub. Okay, let's listen more. In her previous relationships, do you think people have given her her way when she had tantrums? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Because she's an alpha at the end of the day. So. Did y'all hear it? Did you hear what the Dusty said? Do you hear it? Pass a pass a cow. Do you feel like in her relationship before people have allowed her to have her way? And he say yes because she's an alpha at the end of the day. Did y'all hear? Let me rewind. She'll run over you. Yeah, sure. Because she's an alpha. Let me rewind. Do you think people have given her her way when she had tantrums? Yes. Yeah, yeah sure. Because she's an alpha at the end of the day. So she'll run right over you if you like. Yeah, exactly. She can. I need you guys to have that proactive. So Pastor Cal says she'll run over you. The dusty, the crusty, the dirty scrub, the hobo, H-O-B-O -O, sexual who cannot afford a 3,000 plus a month apartment. The rusty, crusty, greater looking, rusty, greater looking neck. Crusty, dusty. Is going to say Marla is an elf. What? I'm going to have to go watch Law and Order to calm me down because Detective Gorn always calms me down. Or person of interest with John. They calm me down. Because this Dusty! Look, my ends are red. Look, look, look. Conversation ask her why is your reaction the way it is so pastor castle y'all need to have the conversation ask her why is the reaction the way it is and my thing is and i've said this before gil is all the way at the dirt in the basement dirty crusty bum okay mad at first sight is here and merla is all the way up here so anything that is not up to her level it's gonna be a problem i'm like that too okay and um, I just don't understand. Well, he's a bum anyway. He won't understand. Negativity is like a cancer to a relationship. That is a problem that's affecting both of you. Yeah. Negativity is a cancer to, to any relationship. And I agree with what Merla say. I agree about, I, I complain about things, but I don't, I never complain about my husband. And that's, that's the difference. And I don't understand. I don't understand why they people don't understand that. There is a difference between me saying to Mike, Mike, I don't like this hotel. Let's not come back next year. Then me saying, you know what? You're a no good. You can't even choose a hotel, blah, blah. There's a difference. And so, you know, if I, we go to a hotel, again, our hotel situation is very specific. We need two bedrooms. A two bedroom suite with two baths, okay? And um, we don't have that. I'm not a happy camper, okay? And I was not happy this year at Little Michael's birthday, but but it's not gonna happen again, okay? It was just that that's all we could find in that area for that. But my point is, there's a difference between complaining about the hotel and complaining about your mate, and that's what I think people do not understand. It can derail at any moment. It, uh, you know. it could derail at any moment. And this is why I need Merla to drop this bomb. Quick. Merla. 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 As president and founder of the, the Team Merla Camp Merla, I need you. 
I need you, Merla. Whatever you gonna do, I need you to do it publicly. Drag him. Drag him, okay? I need you to do it publicly. And and I, I, I need Merla. Merla, I need you need to do this for us, Merla. We need you to do this for us, okay? And so the spoiler that I heard that I didn't, I haven't had time to, to research it, look it up, and the girl didn't message me back, but let me read what she said. Let me read what she said. Because at the beginning of the show, Gil's friend spoke, I, I, I might have that screenshot and I'm going to try to find it, where she, he said, he said, uh, married at first sight, set up Gil. Merla is up e and they set him up and they hook him up with somebody something something, something. I'm gonna find it okay so I'm trying to put the pieces together and so <clears throat> the person said which I'm gonna I, I have it's 12 o'clock I, it's uh, I have about two hours I'm going to have to de I have to come down from the fire. Come down from the fire. Then I have to go pick the baby up. Uh, so Abolicious had to go into the office today. But the person said, I read a post by an ex-boyfriend and friend that said, this is all in fact. I told y'all. I need to go back and see if she responded. There is no way. Get, Merla is too smart. Merla is way too smart to, to, to. I just, I can't. I, Merla, Merla, Merla. I need you. We need you. We need you to represent the hardworking women who made a life for ourselves. Janice, you're looking for what some friend of Gil said about them. If so, yeah, it's on Reddit. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. <gasps> Calm down. <gasps> I'm going to watch one hour of Law and Order. And then I'm going to watch one hour of Person of Interest. And I'll be back and I'll be all calm. Be sure to watch the videos I dropped this morning about the spoiler about Zach. Michaela is speaking out. And then I did one with, um, about Johnny, well, he's trying to take the dingling off the table. And then this, I love you, girl. Let me know. Remember to show me love, support my channel. This is how you do on Amazon. Pick up my book. I'm, I'm setting up my Patreon so you guys can support me. Hopefully. I love you. I love you. Bye. Calm down, Janice. Calm.